Good morning, students, or whatever time of day it is that you happen to be working on this. This is Mr. Kirk, and we're going to talk about lesson 2.3 today. And I've really abbreviated this lesson so we can get kind of right to the meat of it and uh, and get the most out of it. So for the warm up, you can skip. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to give you the result. We're going to spend all of our time in activity two simulating the energy changes and talking about how we can use the simulator. So if we would have done the warm up, you would have had a sheet like this and um, basically shown how potential energy converts over into kinetic energy in order to answer this question. How does potential and kinetic energy change when two magnets repel or move apart? And uh, what I'd like to do is just go to the sim and kind of show you um, what happens here when we have two magnets and you can see their fields here. Um, this is obviously going to repel because we have the same polarities here. They're going to push against each other. And uh, I want you to notice in the upper right hand corner here, uh, our potential energy, 7520.9 joules. You don't need to worry about the units of measurement right now, but this is going to be an important feature to what we do uh, today, what you'll be doing in the simulator today. So when I hit play, uh, you know, surprise, surprise, um, they push each other away. But if I go over to the analyze feature, I can rewind this and we can see over here in the energy chart, all of my energy, all 7,521 joules are stored as potential energy. And then as they start to push each other apart, notice what happens. It converts, it moves from potential to kinetic. So these magnetic fields act as a force to convert potential energy into kinetic energy. Okay, and as that kinetic energy goes up, our magnets will travel faster. So there's a relationship there between the amount of kinetic energy and the speed of the objects, right? And um, at some point, the potential energy, those magnetic fields stop. Their force is not great enough to continue pushing on them. So you'll see the magnets stop accelerating kinetic energy slows its growth slows way down so down here we go from zero to 300 very quickly and then from 300 we jump to 350 and then we pretty much stay at 350 so the first third of this we go from zero to 300 the next third basically we go to 350 300 to 350 and then the last third we stay between 350 and 352 joules of kinetic energy so what's happening here the magnetic fields acting as a force convert the potential energy of these two magnets into kinetic energy so the farther apart these magnets are, the weaker the fields, the less conversion that takes place. Okay. So our main investigation question, how does a system of magnets store potential energy in a magnetic field? Okay. So you will be using the simulator to explore these two different claims. Claim number uh, one or claim A, that potential energy increases when a magnet is moved with, meaning in the same direction as, that magnetic force. Or claim B, potential energy increases when a magnet is moved against or in the opposite direction from the magnetic force. You're going to use the sim to gather evidence about what causes potential energy to increase. And then you're going to evaluate those two claims. So we're going to head over to the sim here in a second. And you, this is where you're going to spend all your time in this lesson. Okay. So 
A couple of features to keep in mind that when you are in the build mode, you can drag magnets out here. I think you can do this with any object and use the lock feature to lock it in place. It will not move. It will not rotate. Okay. You can also take them off if you put them in uh, incorrectly. And then as you put another object in there around the magnet, you will start to see readings on the potential energy. So this is again, is the magnetic field, the potential energy that's stored in the magnet in relation to the second object and the magnetic field is going to be the force that transfers that energy, converts that energy. And then, um, when you press run, you will see the objects move as we would expect them to with a magnet. And then we can use the analyze feature in order to look at the energy transference um, and what takes place, right? And you can grab that, that this is called a, a scrubber right here. You can drag it back and forth to get an idea of what's going on. So. Some of the ways you're going to test these claims for attracting magnets, and then you're also going to use repelling magnets. Okay. Let me uh, hop over here for a second and go back to the build. So if I swing this one around, right, and I drag it apart. So we know these magnets are going to be attracted to each other. I'm going to go, let's see, let me go back to our uh, claim here, right? Claim A, that potential energy increases when a magnet is moved with or in the same direction of the magnetic force. So this is going to be when the magnets are, um, attracted to each other. So take a look at the potential energy and then you get run and bah, right? And then you can analyze this. You can swing this around to investigate the claim of what happens when magnets are against each other. And you can analyze this. And I'd like for you to go ahead and experiment with what happens when we bring them closer together. Again, I'm looking up here mainly at the potential energy. How does potential energy get affected? Again, I'm just playing around here because you know this this gives me all kinds of information here about how these two magnets react with these magnetic fields um, and how how do they line up when they're in the same direction or they're opposed to each other. You can really look at that. That's fun. But you can go in here and analyze this. And again, we're trying to get an idea, our claims here. We're trying to get an understanding about force and potential energy, the magnetic force and potential energy. Okay. So you will do um, two different experiments here, okay? One with the magnets attracting each other, one with the magnets repelling each other. You're going to put in the initial potential energy. So this is the system of attracting magnets. You're going to put in the initial potential energy. And then you're going to put in the potential energy when moved with the magnet force, meaning they're coming towards each other. And then you'll put in the potential energy when moved against the magnetic force. Okay. Bring the magnets closer together. Take the magnets farther away. Take a look at this and then do the same down here. 
And then you'll uh, do section or tab three, I guess, is what we would call that. And tell me, uh, your evidence supports which claim? Do you think it's A or B? And then just tell me why. Use complete sentences for this and hit hand in. Section three, we're skipping section three. We're not going to worry about section three. We're only doing section two. All right. So what I expect to see from you is this filled in. I really want to see your thoughts here and justified. Okay. And we will talk about this in class. Good luck.